Greetings. This is unexpected. I'm going to use my scope now and it doesn't want to start up. It's just making that squeaking noise. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. But squeaking is all it's doing. And this, it is a few years old, but it's hardly been used. And normally it just lives in its box, still in the original wrapper. It's not like it's been run into the ground. Let's pop the lid off and see what's going on. Right, there are four Torx 10 screws, two hidden behind the handle and two down the bottom edge there. That gets that off. Then there are four more Torx screws there, four more there, three BNC X nuts. And then this should carefully lift off. If I undo that, that will give enough room, a bit more breathing space for the power supply. So first of all, what voltages have we got and what voltages should we have? I'll open this first to find out if it's a custom supply or an off the shelf part and also if it has the, the voltages marked down the board. Well, I've checked on the board, there are markings on the board, but unfortunately they're in Chinese and I translated the first one and it just meant red. So it's actually the color coding rather than the voltages for each output. As you can hear, without the scope connected, it just starts itself up and doesn't tick. I've measured the voltages offload and as you can see, they're quite a, an odd mix, but I suspect a lot of these are low because it knows, you know, because there's nothing actually connected to it. Once it actually gets a device connected, it'll bring them up properly. So what I intend doing next is plugging it in, switch it on, presumably it won't work again, then turn it back off and disconnecting the supplies one voltage rail at a time to see what, uh, see if it's one particular rail is, uh, is causing the, the UPS to the uh, the power supply to shut down. Something else to try first though is to remove the signal generator board because that's an easy win really, something to disconnect and prove out the rest of the system. And it's not ticking. And it sounds like it's booting up. I don't want to move it. Yeah, the display is on. That has booted up with this disconnected. So, seeing as it has started up properly, albeit without the signal generator, I'm gonna take this opportunity to map out the voltages on this as it should be when it is powered up, and those details can go on the EEV blog for others to find. So now we know this is behaving, it's time to turn my attention to this. So, we know there's some sort of power issue with this. It's ups it's doing enough to upset the power supply and lock it down. So what I've done is I've traced out all the pins on here and mapped where they go on the door to board connector. And it turns out all the power pins do go there with the exception of the five volt rail and the power on signal. All five main voltages come along to here. So those map onto six ground pins all along the outer edge. There are two there and four down here and opposite each ground pin there's a supply pin. There's plus 5.5, plus 5.5, and over here we have minus 7.8, plus 7.5, minus 20.25, and plus 17.5. And the first thing I found then when measuring across these is a dead short on the 17 and a half volt rail. And I think the first thing to check, just because it's the easiest thing to check, is that capacitor which sits across it. What value is this supposed to be? 
Not a dead shot, I'll bet. The circuit is now showing open circuit, which it should be. Let me try and find a replacement for that. I've measured this one with a multimeter and it's coming in at 33 microfarads, which is just crazy for uh, for such a small capacitor, but uh, looking online, yeah, it's about half of the course for these things. I haven't got any that size, so the nearest thing I've managed to do is fit this 22 microfarad tantalum, which is 22 microfarads, 35 volts, just a little bit bigger. And I'm pretty certain I've got it the right way round. Yep, so hopefully that won't blow up, because that is the plus 17 and a half volt rail. I've confirmed with the multimeter there is no longer a short present. Let's see if that's fixed it. No. That tantalum had failed short circuit as soon as I powered it up. So I hope this thing isn't just eating capacitors. I've replaced it with a 47 microfarad 35 volt electrolytic. Let's see what that does. That's more like it. There we go, all working again, thankfully. Hope someone finds this useful. Well, although Hopefully not too useful, because it chances are it means your scope's knackered as well, and that's why you're looking at this vid. But anyway, it's working. We're back in business. Thanks for watching.